What's up, everybody? Listen, we are back here at Glad TV, and we are um, having a moment between me and my brothers, my biological brothers. We got Josh, Josh Drum Class, and we got Justin. Oh I, I am Justin. <laughs> <laughs> my biological. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> I did a video, I did a video about uh, just a different perspective on Job, and it got a lot of, a lot of people were blessed by it, a lot of people were happy about it, but it was a lot of people, a lot of people um, that were still upset about the story of Job. One in particular said they, they can't trust God because of what he did to Job. And I actually want to get you guys, like, opinion or, you know, thoughts on that. What do you say to somebody that, you know, just say, like she literally said, sorry to put her gender out there, but she literally said she can't trust God because of the book of Job. It really troubled her about that situation. Didn't he get everything back? Double. Yeah, but they said he shouldn't have got it taken away to begin with. Well, Job ain't for no baby Christian, number one. And um, you, you can't be immature about Job. First of all, Job is where you realize God going to do what he's going to do. And if you still trying to battle wills with God, you immature. Then a mug. I True. mean, number one, you, you, I mean, look at it as parents and kids. I always go back to that because no one can see the uh, sovereignty of God but demand sovereignty in their own house as a parent. You want your kids to obey you. Nothing you say makes sense to your kids. I know it didn't to me. That's Don't true. touch the cookie jar, and I'm watching you eat a handful of Oreos. Not a handful. But I can't, <laughs> I can't touch it. I don't know what, who what, can do that. You know, this rule doesn't make sense to me when I'm watching you break it. I'm a parent. You true. do what I say and not what I do. True. You know, we got them rules in the household, but when God say, I do what I want because I'm God, he, he's untrustworthy. True. So it doesn't make sense to me because I've grown. If I was a babe in Christ, yeah, Job used to offend me. This might be a tough pill for whoever said that comment, but I look at it like this. So you already established that there's nobody can understand God. That's right. His ways are not our ways. Yeah, right. his thoughts are not our thoughts. You just like I'm just giving you Bible. <laughs> All right. Did I just let you do that? Go whatever. ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm helping you out. So. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling this why he don't talk Bible at all. <laughs> I, mean, I am for the word, Chess. Why you not? You know I what he's saying. Scripture. You know exactly word, what he's saying. <laughs> just let like he's trying to right, no, go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let the man. I ain't gonna cut your wisdom. I ain't gonna cut your wisdom. Go ahead. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Be but we gonna get through it. You go. You coming up higher? <laughs> I ain't even let this out yet. Yes, it's deep. I know Trust it. Me. I know it's gonna be good. Come on. You say it's a hard pill. Come on with the Tylenol. Get 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 right. The next oh, sentence. Ain't gonna cut your wisdom. Do you think? I can feel a teeth suck when I'm saying this. <laughs> Will you just go? <laughs> okay. Okay. So I really want to hear this. Where we at? You know why? You should talk God more often. This is the problem. His thoughts not are not our thoughts. Okay, that, that's all you get. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're the realest believer I've ever met. That's true. And he might be the only one. He might make it be. In. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely gonna make it in. This might be a tough pill for whoever said that comment, but I look at it like this. So you already established that there's nobody can understand God. That's right. His ways are not our ways. Yeah, right. his thoughts are not our thoughts. You just like I'm just giving you Bible. <laughs> All right. Did I just let you do that? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm helping you out. So, I'm. <laughs> I'm telling this why he don't talk Bible at all. <laughs> I, mean, I am for the word, Chess. Why you not? You know what he's saying. Scripture. You know exactly what he's saying. Just let he's the church. All right, no, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let the man. I ain't gonna cut your wisdom. I'm gonna put it to you like this. Most video games got what we call cheat codes. So you put the cheat code in, then everything's unlimited, Lim unlimited health, everything like that. What's the first thing that you do though once you have that cheat code activated? You play on the max difficulty. That's literally the only way to like enjoy and 
enjoy the cheat codes. Right. Once you have everything unlocked, the best way to enjoy it, if you can't put it on easy, you got to put it on the most difficult setting. His thoughts are not our thoughts. You, you don't know what he got planned. All you know is he got all power. So why would he play this on easy? Boy, that clean. Clean. Boy just preach. Clean. Boy. <laughs> I've always known the word was in him. That's why I would have No, that was hell. Oh, hush, I've hush, that hold was on. Fire. That, that was, was fire. What are you clean. talking about? You the one that thinks. Hush. That what are you talking about? You don't even let that know. That's sick. I mean, over. Y'all better. That's fire. I heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Preaching 101, allow the amen to come out. You are full of it. <laughs> <laughs> you listen. That was good. That was very. That was I'm fun. not surprised. We're done with Job. Yeah, Move next done. subject. Job yeah. is done? We're done. What are some things, and I'll give you the first one so you know what I'm talking about, that you feel are really antics in church that are fair game to make fun of? Like, here's one. All of it. Well, <sighs> just, I'm raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we got to have a segment. Okay. I feel like all preachers that wear glasses that are non-prescription <laughs> are in the flesh. They're, yeah. They're carnal. Absolutely. It has nothing to do with sight. Um, it's perception. It's the it's, image it's, they it, try yeah, to give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's fair game. Except, you know, mine are blue light. They're not prescription, but they protect me from blue light rays and ultraviolet and stuff like that. Yeah. You got anything? Or do I need to? I do. I don't see the point of ushers helping people find seats. Elaborate on that. Because that, <laughs> I would, that's deep. I can Pause. I can Pause. walk into church and see which seats are available. So you're I, one of them ones that just want to sit where you want. I sit where there's an open seat. That's out of order. How is it out? That's churched. <laughs> that is so churched. No, no but it can't. is low-key out of order. I think it's a security thing. Right? Oh, no. No, this happens in storefronts. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You got one? Um, I, got a, I got one that's really real. There's no need for a choir director. You already had your turn. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I feel like the rule of not eating in church is out of order. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what do you no, mean? It's out of order. No. So, you, why can't we eat in church? Because people will leave a mess everywhere. Well, first of all, let me tell you. No, something. no, no. It's worse than that. Y'all don't let me explain why I said that. You cannot have an altar call and hear people smacking chicken. Well, I didn't say it had to be chicken, but... Think of it this way. That darker Think white Think of it meat. this way. Think of it this way. The Last Supper, they sat there and ate with the Word. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is the Word wrapped up in flesh, and he fed them. Oh, that was so true. It's antics. You don't want me to be comfortable in church? You can't get no more comfortable in eating. I swear to God. I'm I don't, all of that's control. That's <laughs> all it is. We go, we leave church starving. We go to church starving. We can't eat. I'm telling you, I'm over all of it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm in rare form today because I'm I've just recently had enough church drama, so right. I'm really right. over a lot of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, oh, that's he that's got how point. I feel. He got a point. I, I, that I, I'll piggyback. I I'll pick, piggyback on that. Now I'm sure they're gonna have a problem with that. <laughs> well, you're right, but up next though, Go ahead. I don't feel. Uh, I feel like choir directors are useless. We rehearsed this song for the last month, and I still need somebody to tell me when to go to harmony. Ga 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 ga. It's for the choir director. He or she showing off flesh, carnal. But you, that, that uh, makes, hold on, bro. You assuming you got perfection in that choir. You should if you got a director. Your own mother could not stay in one section. She wasn't a singer. She could sing fast songs. Mommy could kill a fast song. That's how you know you can't sing. <laughs> you better watch it. <laughs> That's how you know you can't she, sing. Well, you yeah. know, we got a, sh we got a, a shout chant. Mom Mother is, Mayberry, go ahead and sing. Well, she gonna holler on beat. Well, yeah, that yeah, ain't yeah. singing. Well, no, no, you Wait, gotta, so you saying you, you can't sing if you only can sing a fast song? If they only call you to, to do the exhort on the beat, that's what it is. You freestyle on Everybody the beat. Everybody can't do that. I, I, and my, I, well, and, I mean, but that's not singing, that's, that's freestyle. No, you gotta do it in the key. 
You don't have every to. Every holler, every now and then, every ah, got to be in the key. You can't do that in the wrong key of the song. You've got to have some type of ear, even to exhort. Yeah, you got to hear the words from God, but you don't have to be. From who? <laughs> God. 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 Spell that. That's G A W D. You have to say it's a flat G. That, but that's but that's how you see a lot of preachers yeah. say that word. Antics. It's it's antics, God. But, but it's yeah, God. <laughs> God. How do you say God? God or Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean What's another one? I got one. I don't think Oh, well, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Cynical. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I had thought of one right when you said that. The only people that oh. need a program for church is the musicians and the pulpit. What's the pulpit? You, know you mean that. on the podium? Whoever's up there. Because the pulpit ain't a person. <laughs> you said the only people. That so I get dust for talking church. He's talking about the roster. He's talking the, about the, the roster. roster. The pulpit. <laughs> John, you said the only people that need a program in church is the musicians you and know the pulpit. You know what's on the pulpit. <laughs> this is a shame. Okay, but so this is what we Why get no? at Glad TV. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. Don't disrespect. But it's true. I mean, I'm glad. <laughs> don't you I'm get actually that. glad you brought that stuff up because they are antics. They the, don't program. Do, they, no, I'm talking about everything we didn't kind of hit. The antics. So, with all this success, now I've been meaning to ask you this for a while. Because you've been on top for a while as far as what we consider Pause. successful. <laughs> with all I this cut you success, with you, and you're going to Nashville in a couple of weeks, you're doing some big stuff. Like, where do you want this success to take you? I definitely see, if not a million subscribers, half a million. Definitely. Um, I see my course selling very well. I definitely see myself with a signature stick that... Um, will help a lot of people out finding their comfortability with drumsticks that's a that's a big thing um definitely doing a lot of clinics and pretty much collabing with some more drummers that you guys been seeing me do reactions to and stuff like that and yeah definitely let's see i would say a drum endorsement but i'm I don't know. I, I have no idea who to even sign with at this at this point. But uh, yeah, for five years from now, that's that's what I'm looking at. Um, I've been meaning to ask you this because you now what two hundred? What are you two hundred some thousand followers? Two hundred plus. And your ministry uh, opportunities are growing. But Thank who would have thought you'll get to know God this way? Ain't that what Marvin Winans said with Donnie? Who done? I know you this way. Dun, dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when you wasn't an inch. You wasn't close to heaven. You was an inch to hell <laughs> and had a determination to burn. <laughs> <laughs> determination to burn? We was raised in church. We Holiness. Were. Without which no man was ever going to see the Lord. We were PKs, too. I said yes to God very early. You did. <laughs> I found him to be a friend very early. You was in the world of the world, trying to make your habitation in the world. <laughs> Rebelling. <laughs> it's comical, but it's true. You rebelled year after year. Yeah. Altar call come, I look, maybe today he heard it. You did not hear the call to God early. But until this day, Prophet Frank Garris called you out. He did. Yeah. And he said, a prophet among prophets. To you. That day I labeled him a false prophet. <laughs> <laughs> I said, clearly, this is not God. <laughs> How? He's not even saved. <laughs> How do you get a word like that? I, I was expecting them old-fashioned words like, your days is numbered. <laughs> you know that what they used to say. God said, quit playing around. I ain't going to hold you. He didn't give you none of them I, words. I thought I was going to get like a rebuke. I, like, I was expecting like, it. Yeah. Matter, matter of fact, I was praying for it. That God send a word of rebuke. He sent encouragement and a future. <laughs> I said, God has. Well, but yeah. 
He did. Moving forward, I was the liar. Well, I didn't, I didn't lie. I just didn't believe it. <laughs> but <laughs> you was the God believer. showed up and showed out. Now, how does it feel? Because, I mean, do the people know your testimony like that? Like, you you doing it. It was it, this not something I wanted. I sound like I said something like broken English, but I ran from this. Mm -hmm. I ran from it. I didn't want it. And, and um, yeah. But I found out it's a lot easier to walk in the thing you've been running from. And, you know, all that running, I could have avoided a lot of stuff. Yeah. Without you broke running. broke your collarbone. I broke, broke every bone in my neck. body except for my neck, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Um, doing dumb stuff. I don't think that was running for ministry. I was just wild. Well, it was fitting in with the world. True. Trying to be the best at everything but prayer and God. <laughs> But you, you brought it on in. That's true. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's, it, it's something I, I'm getting used to. Mm -hmm. I think it's helped me to be able to be more legitimate with certain people, like a certain audience. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely something I didn't want to do. You ran to it. Mm -hmm. And because you ran to it, you went to college and you... What, your first couple of days in college had to cast the devil out of your roommate? Oh, yeah. Signs and wonders followed me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kid you not. It did. And it made a lot of people mad. Well, you I was persecuted. <laughs> I was persecuted for righteousness sake. Yeah. And I took a lot of it personal until I realized it was God that was mad. I know this is comical, but it's true. You can't rep holiness on a Catholic university and expect the devil not to be mad. Yeah, you went to Seton Hall University. <laughs> yes, I did. And uh, your, your roommate came home drunk. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> this man is still living. Well, we can't yeah. talk about he, that. We're not going to say his name. But he know. <laughs> well, man, well, he, he know the devil is real. Well, and he got freed that night. Yeah, my roommate did. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about it. I, well, well, I didn't. You, you had a situation. It. Well, let's talk about the situation. You had a situation where freshman uh, year, freshman year, and nobody knew mom passed away. Nope. But he said he to came you, to the the RA brought him to uh, my back to our room, and he was it was a frat party night. Yeah. And he was like he lost ping pong, beer pong, beer pong, drunk out of his mind. Brought him back. Underwear at his knees. I'm like, I'm not this dude, Aunt mama. Like, but the audience, could you watch him? He's, he's too dangerous to go. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I put him in. I went to studying. Yeah. And he rose up like Frankenstein out the bed and said, no, for real though, he did say that. He said, I'm the spirit that killed your mama. He said that. And I was like, I wasn't saved at all in that moment. I attacked him. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is new to me. I attacked. I no, I didn't. God wasn't in that that night. I attacked him, jumped right on him. I said in the name of Jesus, but I punched him. I well, didn't I mean, pray. Listen, listen. If you go, I hear you. I'm serious. That's hard. That, that's one down. I but agree. he was so drunk, he like passed out, and I went to. Like, Lord, what was that? And the next morning, I told him what he did, and he apologized, but he didn't remember doing that. Of course he did. did but he go to most people don't want to remember getting knocked down. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Because I didn't. I thought you prayed. Well, I didn't know you knocked Buddy out. No, I didn't. Well, he was drunk. <laughs> he was drunk. He was drunk, so I, I, wait, can't wait take, I can't take credit Stop. for the knockout. Well, I mean, you. I, I could have pushed him, and he would have fell unconscious. But that, that you don't. The say fact that. is, I didn't pray. I I went after him. But see, I was in that stage in college. Even though I, like you said, I ran to the call. I was still having issues with uh, knowing where to be. What's the word? I'm not 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 where to be saved, but you know, I didn't want to be so heavenly minded. I was no good on earth. You know, yeah. I was trying to figure out where could I be. How you feel about them type of people? Uneffective. Do tell. And they're usually not rapture ready. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> they're the ones that's going to be like, Lord, where am I going to go? Like, no, no. The true sign of being saved is quiet. Hmm. You have nothing to prove. Jesus paid it all. 
all to him. I owe, not you. I'm not worried about your debt. I'm worried about mine. That's not <laughs> us, you, but I'm serious as I <laughs> You can't turn the funny it off. It may be people. funny, but it's true. <laughs> no, that's real. You worried about your own debt. How you, Josh, how you feel about uh, <laughs> super spiritual people that they know earthly good? These are the people they deem as religious people. I've seen no benefits in being overzealous. Mm. That's bottom line. So you're saying they're more really dangerous not, than anything. So they're not spiritual, they're, they're zealous and they got it confused. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're the, the majority of them, is they learned one thing and just took off with it. It's a perfect analogy is the majority of people that went to Berkeley didn't graduate. They got their first gig and left. That's oh, some heavy water. Wow. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's some heavy water. And that's You're saying true. something. That's true. I went to Berkeley. Did you graduate? Nah, but I got in. It ain't enough to get in. Yeah, they got their first tour and then that was it. You know, Dad used to say that when they say, well, where you from? I'm from the old school. Dad say, I'm from the old school too, but I graduated. That's for the people who are bound by doctrine and have no revelation or relationship with Christ. And them the ones that's ruining the church. They've got two people ruining the church. The over-doctrinated folk who have no revelation. They just have a relationship with what was. control or what was, but not even really because Jesus was and is and is to come. So, I mean, they, they so didn't was know. he was then. He was what he was and is what he is. And will be what he's going to be. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the ones who are, who are indoctrinated to the point where they have a lot of hang-ups and they judge people based upon what they themselves are not. They judge people based upon their personal consecration. Yep. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then you got the ones that are so loose. The devil can speak in tongues. I mean, like, the devil is just the, the armor bearer for the ministry. Yeah. Like, you're so loose. Any You can't do that. And that's weird. You know, the Bible says I'll be hot or cold. And what's interesting, now, this is this going to be weird. I want to hear what you have to say about this. The truth, for some reason, is so close to warm. But it's not warm. Talk to me. The problem is, if you're over-doctrinated, you off. If you have no control in your life, you're off. But yet you're not supposed to be lukewarm. But there is a middle. There's a, there's a balance. But it's not warm. It's, it's like right, it's so close that the devil infiltrates the, the gospels and what's being taught and preached that it makes them think that they can live loose and then it makes the people think that they got to live so tight. Then I where grace is somewhere in between all of that. Yeah. But yet, grace is not a license to do whatever you want. But it's, it's the integrity to know how to live. No. Nah. And that's a lot of words, but. No, nah, but it. Because it, they. Uh, am I talking mean, too much? No, nah, that's real. You said a lot on it, and all of it's true. But that's, 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 that's strong. Well, that then let me ask close. you this. What do you feel about today's church culture? I feel two things. I feel like there's a culture that think they can impress God. And <laughs> like, like real talk, there's a culture that live life to try to impress God. Uh -huh. and, and, and they try to do all the works and then apply grace on what they're doing as if their works speak louder than their life. They're trying to outwork their life. Wow. Like they, they, they're, they're literally all the bright, shining lights and all that stuff. And you, you, you don't understand because this is very quick for people. As a human being, they have to be able to worship something. You were created to worship regardless. Okay. Whether you worship self, God, or the devil, mm -hmm. you're going to worship something. And, and a lot of people in this day, church time, they make people idols so quick. Yeah. And it's the, the problem I have is, like, like, like some of my comment sections, I can literally see people hold me to a standard they don't hold themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem for me. Because I'm not your God, and if I make a mistake, I'm already convicted in my own heart. I don't need you to convict me. I wouldn't care nonetheless, but the fact of the matter is if your salvation is hinged on mine, then that's a problem. And I see that a lot in like this generation. And they, they, they just, oh, such and such ain't saved? Well, it ain't got nothing to do with you. You ain't going to get to heaven and Jesus be like, when such and such backslid, you made the cross none effect. 
Huh? Jesus? He was supposed to stay saved. Ain't got nothing to do with you. I died for you the same time I died for him. Well, how about this? I submit to you that the ones that judge you after your mistake, and judge is a loaded word, but the ones that say have nothing but, you know, can condemnation for you yeah when they see you i submit they going to hell because so, paul taught us you that are spiritual if you see your brother fall ye that are spiritual restore them considering yourself what's restoring mean in that context restoring means in that context like he said considering yourself you knew it wasn't easy to lead that man or to lead that woman, See, it wasn't easy for you. They don't do that, though. You just got the joy for leaving I'm, and then forgot how hard it was to lose Tom, Dick, and Harry's phone number. But let me add you this, and I want to hear your wisdom on this. Telling but you now. I, there are platforms building themselves up <laughs> just for the main purpose of exposing people they literally see fall. They going to a devil's hell. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I know who you're talking about. I see it. I don't want to name them, they but they're scratching they, they, that itch yeah, yeah. of um, 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 the Bible says about or it teaches about a watchman that sees the evil approaching and don't warn the flock. The blood will I require yeah. at your hand. You telling me you saw them about to backslide and said nothing to them? No, but I'm gonna build my platform off yeah, your backslide. Oh, no, no, no. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna say. Oh, yeah, he's a devil. He's a false prophet. Somebody called me a false prophet. I know. Literally in the comments. And I said, are you for real? You don't prophesy. The whole video. You don't even know how to judge it. Look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> you frying chicken. That's a false baker. <laughs> Learn what you're trying to say. But, but here, but here, the video is me quoting the scripture. Mm -hmm. And he said, call me a straight up false prophet. Now. To your question about this, I said there were two types. The second part is this. God has to come in the way I want to perceive God. So now we got a generation mm -hmm. that's just literally tailor-making the worship experience for people. Yep. <clears throat> and, 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 and now we're, we're like moaning a group of people. Look, y'all, I've seen churches where the projector screen didn't work. And the church almost fell apart. Turn your Bibles to, it ain't up there, Pastor. Oh, I don't got my Bible. Like, like, that ain't what we if, if, up here. if the lyric screen don't work on church, the confidence monitor, if that don't work, are y'all still going to sing a song? You know what What we grew up on, if the projector didn't work, the one old woman, drive him away, Lord, drive old <laughs> Satan away, drive him away, <laughs> Because clearly the devil that came in here, we got to go. <laughs> it's amazing that you bring it up the old spirit with what you got on. <laughs> Y'all dress me. They dress me. <laughs> There's a stylist here. Okay. It's just so funny. I hope she did her job. <laughs> Why you say she and point at me? She's you miss, you miss All this revelation, me. you're going to look at the camera and lie. <laughs> no. Where's the stylist? He, he did this. He said she. You know. said she. <laughs> I called her the queen. He missed. You called me a queen. <laughs> it was a joke, Saints. No. But you you hitting that. We about to get in trouble. And it's I really love nothing. it. Because I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of all this. All this. And that's, let's talk church business. Real quick. Because I'm going through that right now. Church business. Church. Okay. Bring it up. <laughs> Bring it up. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, so, well, then. Glad TV going to save the church. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you now. Going to save the church. Bring it up. <laughs>